I just realized this planet looks like genitals. What a way to start. We're at 99 stars, we're going to Bubble Blast Galaxy. The 100th star needs to be something special, so it's like... A rocket off the genitals... Oh gosh, now I'm thinking of something. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Labyrinth Zone! Except, it's actually just a labyrinth. This isn't much of a labyrinth. Oh yeah, it is. Oh wow. But we have easy access considering we've been provided with simple launch stars. So, you already guess what we're supposed to be doing. Launching yourself. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, that is what we're doing. Oh wow, that's actually kind of... I was expecting it to shoot off, not just... Boringly come out somewhere else. Well, keep looking and you'll see something else, so... Really, this is this is just main. Were you forced to start with this one, or you just decided to? No, I just to? it. You can do them in any order. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if any are just easier or harder. But this this part is generally something that I'm just like, yeah, oh, this yeah, this is nice, comfortable. You just need to have patience, and you just need to um know how hard you need to um press A. So you don't blow on this. What do you think? This isn't the DS. Alright, so there's no blow thing on the Wii, it's just like shaking. Yeah. I don't have a Wii, dude. I have a Wii once in my life. I have, though. In both senses of the word. Weird. Are you randomly go there? You don't know if, you're, if you've done something before. Well. First off, I think they. I think you. Would you? I, hmm. If anything, I. It's easy to document which ones you just been if you do it in order. But whatever. So, continuing on, we're just we're just in a bubble. Mario honestly should have no control over what's going on, but this is just happening. You know that reminds me of people in like say Sonic. When his when Sonic turns into a ball. How does he know where he's going? It's always, it's just something that's always bugged me. Which about people who battle by going into a ball. Well, that's that's true, but in the end, Sonic really has like god reaction time if he goes as his speeds in like stuff like Unleash, where he doesn't turn into a ball, except in the Wii version for whatever reason. Um, so yeah. He really likes spells. Man, I'm like channeling my 13 year old inner. 13 year old? Yeah. My 13 year old inner 13 year old is 13 years old. Which is why I said that. Not accidentally, I said it on purpose. You, accident you accidentally on purpose locked your coach in, in the closet. What is that? From jumpstart typing. Oh. Uh, okay. Don't. I just. I just remember things, man. I can't blame you. The best video game I've ever played in my entire life is Word. And it was a video game about learning words. Mine, and mine for my childhood was Jumpstart 3rd Grade. Oh, childhood, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Jumpstart 3rd Grade, I was... I was really... It was like one of the most fun things ever. Why are you going away same, from that thing? Because I don't need it. Um, it was one of the most fun things ever, but at the same time, I was, I think, what was it? I started, I started it when I was in third grade, um, and I'm just like saying, wait, third, how do third graders know any of this hi history of the world or whatever? Is this what I'm going to need to learn now? And it turns out, no, but I guess American third grade have to learn these things? I don't know. U.S. history is completely unfamiliar to us because we're not U.S. Yeah, but it wasn't exclu It wasn't just U.S. history. It was just general history, um, like standard Christopher Columbus stuff, but with more with but with more people and stuff. There were there was room for error, but not a lot. So, alrighty, history is inherently boring. Let's talk about a cooler subject like geography. Oh, let's talk Lunch. about let's talk about 
um, astronomy. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because in that what in in Jumpster third grade, you'd um go basically one of the one of the what was it one of the clues that you had to collect the your antagonist probably somehow sent it into deep space and you had you had to decipher raid you had to decipher oh wait yes yeah, she sent it into deep space and then you had to use a powerful oh, this is a clever and you had to use yes. a, yep and you had to use a power powerful laser to knock it out out of the pull of a black hole that's awesome I need to play this now. It's really cool, man. Heck, even after you finish, if if you use too much power at once during um during your activities, then all power in the thing goes out, and then you have to go to the generator, which is a particle accelerator, operated by batteries based off of like fractions or something, and it was amazing. Just that game, man. They they did they. Did. They knew what was cool and they just, they just kept doing it. That's and I also like the villain dynamic of Polly and Botley in there. Because basically like a villain that's constantly watching you and is also constantly taunting you. But is also quirky enough that it that it's you quirky enough that quirky and serious enough that you're like, no, I want to beat this person because it's a jerk, but otherwise you really do love that character. So like Eggman. Well, no, Eggman doesn't tell you. So, um, remember it's all about the the villain is always watching you, and so, so basically Gladys. I think, yeah, like, like Gladys, um, and I think Gruntilda from Banjo-Kazooie, I think, um, I think, I've never played a Banjo game, so. I've played tons of Banjos. We have never played a Banjo. Hey. No, I was just trying to remember a fairly parents joke. References aren't jokes. No, no I, I, I thought Stop you, it. I thought you were going to reference a Wonder Over Yonder joke. No. No. Nickelodeon's better than no. If I said that, I'd be killed. I do think it, though. Let me think. Even... Oh. Well, actually, yeah. Disney has no cartoons. But Wonder of Yonder is Disney XD. Yeah, I realize Disney XD and Disney XD is better than Nickelodeon. It's probably the it's probably the best channel now when it comes to like kids channels. It's a shame that it gets the least ratings. Well, nothing got as bad. Nothing was as bad in ratings as the Hub. It averaged like one hundred thousand people a day. Uh, but it had good stuff. Hilar- that is the hi- the most hilarious thing I've ever read in my entire life. But it had amazing stuff on it. Hey, isn't that where people went for My Little Pony? How did they do? How do they not have enough ratings? I don't know. The, the show just... didn't get cancelled, but the channel did. It was less about the shows and more about Hasbro being stupid and saying, "Hey, we only want shows that can sell our toys." And so no like, more well, versus. You got a, you got a lot of great original programming here. Are you gonna keep them? No, we're gonna cancel them and start selling our toys more. No, get off our channel. And then that pretty much happened. Uh, what am I doing back here? But I have, I have so I have no idea why that channel showed me. Oh uh, great! I, I, re- I really miss the old stuff. Like Tottenstein, growing up creepy. Like Tottenstein. Um, future is wild. Don't remind me. <laughs> uh, and Grossology for me also was a good show, so. Is, are these, oh my, so this is literally that circular galaxy except there are trees now. No, we were here before, remember? So this is the exact same place. It, no, this is Seaside, the place where three missions were races. Yeah, so we're here again? or is we're, here, we're here again. For what reason? Because I remember I completed the third mission, which I hate so much. I was like, "Screw that!" and I went to the Bowser fight, the Bowser Junior fight. Um, but now it's inevitable since I'm going for 100 percent that we're going to have to do the mish, the um, Silver Star mission, which is long and tedious. Sounds fun, but not fun. Right. So, yeah, the Silver Star, you, you see that entire, like, half 
of the place where we never even went to in the main missions. Well, went to in the other missions, I should rather say. Um, well, they're all here. You're going over those places now. That tree, that bad in the background, what am I looking around for? And I forgot where a silver star was. Perfect. Hey, hey man, chin up, Mario. Be happy. Think good things. I thought you were going to actually say be happy for his pun considering we're using B Mario. No, I was thinking that Mario should think about good things. Like overthrowing his enslaver. Peach, and Peach or Rosalina. destroying her. Well, no, Peach isn't an enslaver. She's Are you just sure? a jerk. Yeah. She's like, oh. hey, Mario, I can't pay for bus fare. Come and pick me up from Bowser's. Ooh, yes! And Mario's incredibly thirsty. So he's completely deluded, so he doesn't know that he's being completely rejected. He's like that nerd from school who drives someone to the prom and then they're like, oh, okay, thanks, and then just go to someone else. How sad. Yep. But hey, Mario, it's kind of really sad because Mario is going to the entire universe dying very little. And then Peter's like, yeah, thanks. Chin up, bud. Doing great. And then just fist bumps his shoulder. And Mario's like, yes! Second base. <laughs> You're going to love when we reach the latter part, the latter parts of this. I, I, I'm, I'm actually, I actually really want to, um, to get to that part just to see our reactions to things. It'll, it'll be great. It'll be great. Anyways, yeah. So now we just have to, let's just go looking for stuff. The mission. This, this sounds like classic Mario 64. Except that you have to find five things in a very expensive place. Literally, Mario 64. The very first. Not this expensive. Yeah, wet dry whoa, world. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, okay, wet dry world was bad because of, yeah, I hate wet dry world and this. Yeah, wet, wet dry world's five secrets in the shore and sky thing was just the stupidest. I've never found that star because I'm not searching every inch of that place just to find five arbitrary points. No stars, just areas you have to just walk by somewhere that is the dumbest thing i've ever heard and i hate it and I, 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 if i got it it was completely by accident all yeah. right but i know yeah. i've gotten stars by accident before i found a lot of things by accident that like accidentally backflipping into shifting sandland i wouldn't have found it otherwise i didn't find shifting sandland because it was around that point where i was like yeah i'm done here and just stopped playing the game it's the same way in playing Ocarina of Time. I found a key in the forest temple and I had no idea where. And I thought I found the same key twice. I know I didn't, but that's what it felt like. So when replaying Forest Temple, I had no idea how to beat it because I beat it by accident the first time. Oh, I don't remember the difficulty of the Forest Temple, honestly. I think that. Every every post game temple, every post child temple is more memorable than the water temple. What's wrong? Forest temple is better. The fire temple is better. It's just weird. Those are the only three I played, what so I, I can't do talk about fire and that. Below the well was, but actually I, I never. Whatever. You hear that, readers? Re re hold up. Listeners, no. What am I doing? What are, what are viewers? Note that was 100% genuine. Oh, I'm trying to get. Okay, okay, I realize my train of thought now. Yeah, so this big tree, you finally, finally going up and see that it's filled with spiders. That's fascinating. This is a water level, and there's a power up that disappears when you go in water. Yep. Nice contrast. Makes it very annoying though. Does it? Yes. Uh, man. I know I. Somewhat spoiler, but really you wouldn't expect you wouldn't expect different from me at this point. I the the purple coin mission for this is the one where I say it's the most incredibly tedious. They're littered everywhere around this place, except in the water. 
That would just be, that would, I'd just like give Nintendo like, no, no, none of that, if that happens. So you're physically unable to fly that high? Yep. This is a terrible power up. I think I just make it, but I don't. And I just happen to land on the clouds here. Yeah. Old man yells at cloud. No, that doesn't make any sense. But you got the reference, and that's what's important. But seriously, Mario has gone all over the universe getting a hundred stars. What is Peach doing right now? He is current Peach is currently playing Shuffleboard with Bowser and Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings. And she's winning, which is really annoying Bowser. Or they're but playing Bowser. Bowser Jr. Party. loves this. Or they're playing Bowser Party. Of course not. Bowser No no. Nah. I just no. There's no reason I just don't want that to be it, cause that's a boring that's a boring excuse. Wait, are you talking about Bowser Party? Of course. My ideas aren't boring there. But Delicious. there is a Bowser Party. I know. So yeah, don't patronize me, you bastard. Oh, patron that reminds me. I saw a sign that said Thank you for your patronage. In every restaurant I've ever been to. And a picture of someone eating ice cream. Okay. Um, which oh, man, reminds... I miss that restaurant. Well, I, you know what? That reminds me of Sonic Boom. Like... The television show, the comic, or the game, or the, the other game, or the third game. The TV show. Obviously. So, yeah, it reminds, reminds me of Sonic Boom, where it's basically, like... What was it? They had, a, they had a, like, a plan or something. If I don't say the line perfectly, it's going to undermine, undermine then don't. it, so I'm you not going to... show me the video. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that later. I don't actually want to watch the video. Too bad you're watching it right now. Alrighty. Goodbye, guys. Later. How many times have you made that? Well, I'm leaving. Joking this playthrough alone. Joke? I'm literally contemplating running away as fast as I can. Ain't you gonna tell me it's a joke? I'm leaving. That one was a joke. You know, when we're old, you'll just you'll just like watch these videos. And I'll just dope slap you because that is what you deserve. When, when I'm oh old. come on, get back here! Oh, oh. Okay. When I'm old, I'm gonna watch these videos and think, still got it. Yeah. I'll be like seventy, and I'll be the richest person who ever lived. Oh, and I'd be the we'll richest all person. be living on Mars because the human population will be small enough to fit on Mars, and I'll be living on Earth all by myself. And then, then you're lonely. going to have then you're going to have the plot of Wally. No, I'm going to get lonely, and then make a friend out of some useless crap lying around. But I'm going to have accidentally used a bomb, and it's going to blow up half the country with me in it. And then I was gonna come back to Earth and think that I stopped an alien invasion rather than just blew myself up because I was lonely. And I'll be a martyr and then everyone will love me. I feel that this is. I'm scared to think that's one of your actual aspirations. Of course it's not an actual aspiration. I'm going to die way before I kick off everyone on Earth. Yeah, you kick them off because it's your jurisdiction. Of oh my god, we only got two stars thanks to how long that was. Well, as it, I am not exaggerating when I said that, that literally makes me want to go to the... Uh, damn it. Yeah. I had the time.